Hey, there you get the vet team just dropped drop my daughter off. <laughs> they're going on with that bullshit again. The vet team, they're looking at their uh, knee boots. They wait for me to drop my daughter off at the Boys and Girls Club, right? Because they think that, uh, oh yeah, well, you know, we just used Pam to target him last night and get all these subliminals and the palm fixation drill. And she was very aggressive with it that he left. And so now it's another day. Oh yeah, he'll be back there. Yeah, I'm back there. So guess what? I ain't staying. Okay? And the fact that I dropped my daughter off at the Boys and Girls Club let them know that I'm not staying. So now they are, <laughs> you know, they're going to move to how they try to talk to me now. You see the guy up in front there, he's wearing a blue jacket, just walking in front there, grabbing his crotch. But again, he's facing towards me, but his hands, okay, his hands went down. All right. Like I said, I recognize these things. Here goes the FedEx truck now, again. Talk about how to use the FedEx truck that represents the Fed. All right, the FBI. Okay, look. Comes out of the check cashing place, looks at me, had a, you know, a white tissue in his hands. Hope you guys saw that. Okay. I understand what it is that they do, right? The use of colors. As a matter of fact, as I got out to school, walking my daughter, there was a young lady who, uh, you know, she was like, uh, uh, she was on the phone, but you know, it's all bullshit. It's all street theater. She's like, oh, what color? What color is the car? What color is the car? She keep repeating it, the color. So you see, again, the use of colors, right? What it's called in dark psychology, neural linguistic programming, anchors and triggers, okay? Attaching uh, certain things people, places, emotions, and anchoring them, right, to something, right, a place, someone, you, you know, your memory serves as, and the people you come in contact with, right, serves as a catalyst, but when they do this, oh, <laughs> Right? And look, she walks in the middle of the sidewalk wearing a yellow jacket, looking in at the, the storefront. See? See how they do it? How they step out? Yeah, she goes into her bag. As I walk by. You'll see this over and over again. It's the same thing. It, you'll see it. Yeah, her hair goes up right here. Her hair goes up. Looking at the storefront. Okay? Uh, look, 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 the hands movement, they're looking at the hand movement, they're grabbing of the bag, as soon as they see me, she's looking at the blue car over here, I want to turn, I can show you guys, so you guys can see, yeah. right, look, look at the hands, they're signaling, they're trying to do the middle finger, but she don't quite want to stick it out, so what she'll do is that, she'll stick the, the middle finger out, but she'll, she'll bend it inwards, so that her whole finger won't stick out, all right, I'm going to explain these things, because it needs to be explained uh, so you can see the type of programming what is being done right so, uh, the white lady in the black coat with the dog you know like i say again trying to get you to think in negative ways and behave in negative ways because that way you know they can say well that's our narrative right and that's what our narrative so look the fact that he or she is behaving that way just shows that in what we've been saying is correct. But what they don't tell you is that the psychological conditioning to create the mindset, right? That's what they'll tell you about, okay? And because it's in the psychological realm, they can deny it. They can say, oh, it's all in their head. It's all in their mind when they say these things. But like I said, I didn't, I spent the first half in this program, first, the first decade in this program, you know, with your mind screwed up because of what these people have done to it. And then think that they can get away with it, you know? But I was like, no, you know what? I need to start figuring this shit out. What they did to me, what they did to other TIs, what they did to my brother beforehand, you know? And, and this is why they attacked me so heavily and so hard because again, when you 
finding out the truth they're going to try to suppress that they're going to try to use every label that they try to use they'll try to let make you become whoever they say you are it doesn't matter okay but if they can psychologically condition you manipulate you then that's what they'll do and again then there's no proof right there's at least no physical proof okay but there is the psychological proof though and this is what i'm trying to show you guys the psychological proof of what it is that they do right again trying to prove that they have not psychologically harmed you or harm us as ti's or harm me in in a way because they're like oh well how come we you know we can get her she's targeting him we can use this technology to manipulate his kids and get them to target him but look he's back the next day <laughs> okay all right so but look at how many videos I have on my YouTube channel, right? Trying to expose this stuff. I spent so much time trying to expose these things that and even when I was going to school, man, they started targeting me heavily with remote door monitoring. You know, basically do a street theater so it, it can, they can erase whatever I, I try to remember. Okay? And, um, you know, as a matter of fact, I, I'm going to put up some of those videos of the classes that I was taking and you guys are going to hear. And you'll, you'll always see in times when they're targeting me like this, you'll see the FedEx truck, people wearing army fatigue, whether it be hats, pants, jackets, again, and how they use these things as uh, telling the target who was, you know, exactly responsible, but using civilians, right, to engage in such things. And you'll see the white guy with the beard across the street. Again, it's the same theme that he has his middle finger out on his uh <laughs> as you hold his uh his his jacket look right. and, the, and the black theme is that is that play All right because this is what they do okay this is this this is what they do and you gotta expose it look look you gotta expose it. look she looks you turn around she looks over here look she turns around and she looks <laughs> It is hilarious. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. They haven't caused any psychological harm to TIs. Okay. Remember, the people that, that, that are doing this, they're in the authority position. They're the ones that get to decide, you know, uh, uh, which uh, illness they want to create next. Okay, because they have to create the illness and then give you the cure so they can sell the kill. Remember that. Okay.